Welcome back to Siren 2. We're going on with Yarto, and previously we saw him in the amusement park with the CEO, Takayaki. And Yarto's ha- it's in a bad way. He's very upset about the situation. The two of them have made their way to the Bright Wind, which is the ferry uh, that we saw in the last couple of videos, I believe. The ferry that is just somehow here in the woods on the island from the 80s. We're on the Bright Wind. It's Yorito. We're playing Siren 2. Major. I'm so scared. I'm beginning to think maybe... This is all just a dream. I mean, perhaps I'm going mad. Why don't you try shooting yourself in the head? If it's a dream, you'll wake up in your nice warm bed. And if not, well then, it's all over. Hey. Hey you! Hey you, hold on! Major? Major Misawa! Who does he think he is? Well, maybe Takiyaki doesn't have it quite as all together as we might have thought. Yuri's on the ferry. We gotta go after her and find her. We have to help her escape. There's more than one way to save her. The top of the ship isn't the only way out. And just to distract the Shibito that is in your way, break something nearby. Well, Takayaki walked off that way. And he walked out of the level. He's not in this level anymore. We're on our own. Yuri went somewhere. We gotta go find her. <laughs> well, we've seen her before. Really matters anymore. I mean, kind of doesn't in this situation. We're out of civilization. We saw this woman before in the pink kimono. Her name is Tomoe. But last time we saw her, she was alive. And, uh, that doesn't seem to be the case now. I'm gonna switch weapon to my knife and then replace it with what she was carrying, which is this. The saw. The saw is very good. Let's take a look at it. A cross-cut saw used for lumbering and has large teeth, including some vertical teeth for cutting through trees with hard knots. It's a very good melee weapon. All right. She gets up fast also. All right. Well, we can do this as many times as you want. You might remember from Siren 1 that we tend to have problems with named Shibito. They tend to be more of a fight fighter than uh, unnamed ones. Here we are in the engine. Con- it's buzzing again. Is she up already? I'm going to close this door. It's Sight Jack. She come, yeah, she's coming in. Nope. That's another door, I guess. Yeah, she's walking somewhere else. Oh, no, she's coming in here. Look, I have to find someone. We know that Tomoe has a problem with Yuri. We saw that in that cutscene. She called Yuri a witch and asked how is, she, how is she still alive. Look. Okay, I'm gonna close this door. What can we do in here? Well, there is something I want to do over here. Which is unlock this. And because we did that, we're going to help out Mamoru later on with the mission too. Yeah, I know. 
get in here. You gonna open this door? All right, let's let's get out of here. We don't know where Yuri went. If I can get somewhere where I can just uh, relax a bit, we can sight check and see if we can find her. But no relaxation for us. That we're buzzing already. Actually, something we should do while we're here. I looked at this desk before with another character. There's a lost and found box down there. There's a videotape in there this time. It's a videotape. We're gonna take. Well. We're not specifically taking it, but we're adding it to our archive. We can watch it later. Actually, there are a few items, actually, we should find while we're here among the cabins. There's a cabin up here we can go into. Something on the floor. A letter tucked inside, shaped like a heart. Heart-shaped letter has been added to archive. Well, we'll read that later. Here's the, uh, the cabin for the tennis players, where the trophy was. Thought I got a prompt. Yeah, here it is. Whoop, didn't mean to turn around. Yeah, there's something on the floor there. Tennis teams travel itinerary. Tournament announcement added to archive. Quite a few archive items in this level. Let's see. We, anything else around here we want to get? Tomo please, Tomoe. Oh, she doesn't see me? Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna head back down here, and let's see, where do I want to go? I think I want to head into the third class cabin. Yeah, there's a newspaper under this TV. <clears throat> and that'll give me Shikai news, okay. I think that's all of the archive items that we're gonna find. So now, now we can focus, let me just hang out in here, and let's do some sight jacking, and let's just see what it is we can find around here. We're looking for Yuri. Alright, so, someone's being attacked by Shirio on the forward deck. So we can assume that's Yuri, because she's moving differently than Shibito do. She's moving fast, she's being attacked by Shirio. So because of that, we want to see if we can do something about that. When we were playing as Ichiko, something that we saw is when we went up to the bridge, there were some lights that we could shine down on the forward deck. Yeah, now our objective is to cover Yuri on the forward deck. Let's go to this light. Where is she? There she is. Well, Yuri doesn't like light, but Shirio don't either. Light kills them, so we can keep the Shirio away from her by doing this. See, they can't get at her. Can't do it. We saw Yuri stomp a Shirio in a cutscene, but I guess this many of them are too many for her. But it does seem like there are a number of people after Yuri. Tomoe is after her. 
That one Shibito in the first level was after her. Now all these Shiryo are. It does seem there are a lot of people and entities here who want to do her harm. It's kind of hard to keep my thumb steady on the analog stick as I'm doing this. So that's all of them, and now let's see what she's doing. Now we gotta meet up with her. She's hiding out in the engine control room. She always goes there. But now we now we have seen it for ourselves. So if we're going to meet with her, we have to find her. Let me just make sh let me just see something. I just trying to recall. Is there anything else I want to do before I go talk to her? I think while we're here, let's see if we can go out on the forward deck from here. This one's locked. I hear someone. There she is. Let's see. Well, Yuri opened one of the doors. So let's go to the other door and see if we can get in. Who's looking at me? Someone is. Well, I'm running away anyway. Uh, that's not where we want to go, is it? No, we want to go around here. I don't think anyone is going to find Yuri in the engine control room. I think she's safe. Pretty sure. Alright, we're out here now. There's some... Okay. You see how large this front deck is? There's something we need to find, and it is... See that? On the- on the ground? Need to find that. It's a flare. Because we did that, now we have unlocked a mission two later in the game. Let's check- let's check- take that. Let's check- check it out. Acquired on the ferry, used in rescue missions and can be fired with a flare gun. It lasts for a long time and is very bright. Well, considering... The enemies we have seen that are sensitive to light. A flare could be very useful. But now that we've got that, let us... Hold on. Uh, I forgot about these guys. Alright, so... Out here by the boat, David, there's a gunman. I'm gonna just go around. We could try to take him out, but... But we'll just take the safer way. Alright, so... Yeah, we're heading down to the engine... Engine... Not the engine room, but the engine control room. Where Yuri's hiding out. Hmm? Alright. Come on. Tomoe is very resilient. She's also fast. If we were to sight jack her and, and look through her eyes, we would see that she moves around on the ship pretty fast. 
He's after me. Please help. Yeah, that's what she said to Mamaru. He's after her. Who are you talking about? Whoever he is, he is after her. All right, so what are we doing? Well, it says that we have to help her escape. That's not much of an objective. How do we get her off the boat? Well, we could take a look at the map. There isn't... Well, we could take a look at this. There was an exit off from the boat that we took as, uh, as Ichiko that was over this way. But uh-oh. Stairs are gone. Who removed the stairs? I guess Ichiko and Shigeru took the stairs with them when they got off the boat this way. So we are not getting off this way. All right. Where are we going? Well, there are many levels of the boat. We can see where we started. But there's no exit there. So what we actually have to do is get down to the freight room. You wouldn't know it. There's really nothing indicating it. We have to get... The, what we would basically have to do is just explore the entire ship until we realize this is the only place we haven't gone yet. It's kind of weird. Um, but I guess kind of sirenish to m just make that unclear until you finally come across it. All right, let me see. Where do we want Where do we want to go? We want to get to the elevator that can go down to the freight f freight room. And that is on the other side of the ship. We don't want to go through the boat, David, because there's a gunman. So, we are going to just avoid that area of the ship. Hey, Tomoe. Where, where, is she in here? Yeah, she's in here. Alright, let's go, Yuri, before she gets back up. Yuri's the one Tomoe actually wants to kill here. I don't know why she keeps coming after me. Yuri? There you are. The, um, the people... There's a Shirio. So, the reason we're seeing a Shirio is because when you... I don't know if I've mentioned this. When you kill a Shibito, the way they resurrect is that a Shirio will appear and find the corpse and then go, go into it, and then the Shibito gets back up. So, if I were to kill that Shirio, I could prevent the Shibito from getting back up. It's just that I don't think there's a limit to them. See, it's it, it's going that way because it wants to get to the to the corpses. Let's go, Yuri. So, if you really didn't want a Shibito to get back up. You could prevent them from getting up by, by just taking out the Shirio that appear. All right. Let's head this way. We want to find... Okay, these stairs going down, I think, is going to take us there. So over here is the elevator. We've been here before as Ichiko. Ichiko started by waking up in the freight room. So we want to go back down there. So we could try to call the elevator. But nothing's going to happen. If we listen, we can hear a sound. What is that sound? Well, we can sight jack. Take a look around. There's a Shibito standing in the elevator door. The door can't close. Alright. 
So here's what we so what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the room we want to go to. Uh, it's the freight room. So there's some stairs that also lead toward the freight room. There's the elevator right there. We want to go to those stairs, which fortunately are right here. Here's the door. Uh-oh, it's locked. Fortunately, we remember that we do have a solution here. That got the guy's attention. Now he's- he moved out of the elevator do I guess he was having a real good time. In that elevator door, just getting banged in the face over and over. But we got his attention. There- there he is. Hey, he wants to get at us. He can't. He's stuck. He can't open that door either. Alright. But he's out of the elevator now, so now we can go to the elevator and use it. Okay, here we go. I was going to mention that the, um, the partners that you have in this game, the people that you escort, they're okay for the most part, the way they operate, the AI. Sometimes they, they take a while. Like, what is Yuri doing right now? She was right behind me. Why is it taking her so long to get here? There she is. It's a good thing we're not being attacked right now. Overall, they're usually fine, but then sometimes you have instances like that where I don't really know what it is she's doing. She's caught on something, I guess. Oh, she doesn't like the lights, that's right. Alright, where's that Shibuto? There he is. Alright, so we're down here. What do we find down here? Well, there's a hole in the wall. Yuri? Get in there! <laughs> Release Yuri! She might be able to get through. Be careful. Find a place to hide. I'll be back for you. Okay. Mission accomplished? We shoved Yuri in the hole in the wall, I guess. Ah, not that one. This one. All right, uh, no cutscene after that, but we do have a second objective available, and also a second objective available up here now on Yorito's first mission. Let's pull out here. All right, so this one up here is the earliest mission that we can do at this point. Uh, a redo of mission of his first mission, this time with a second objective. What could that objective be? Well, we'll find out when we come back for more Siren 2, as Yorito is going to look for help while Yuri just kind of hides in a hole in the wall. I don't really know. I mean, I guess maybe Tomoe can't get to her in there. I don't really know how this helps Yuri. But that's how that mission ended. Be back for more Siren 2. Actually, no, I don't want to be back for more Siren 2. I didn't even look at the, obje at the, at the archive items. Getting ahead of myself. How can we not look at the archive items? We got four of them in this level. So this is the heart-shaped letter. We got this because we inspected along the passage. A complexly folded letter that was a popular way of communicating among middle school girls. Similar to origami, this letter was folded in the shape of a heart. And... It's kind of hard to see the text on it. It says, My dear Nakajima-kun, I think is what that says. My dearest Ichiro, you look so good out there on the tennis court. As for your serve, you looked fantastic. As the team manager, I've never been so proud. And as your girlfriend, well, let me just say that you gave me a day that I'll remember for the rest of my life. 
You know you've always been the one for me. I'm so happy that we're together now. I hope we can be this way forever and ever. And don't wish that in Siren. That could happen. But maybe that won't be possible. There's something that's got me really worried, and I don't know what to do. I can't talk to Ichiko about it, and I'm even scared about what you might think. Meet at our usual place by the stairway, okay? I'll be waiting for you. Noriko. All right, so this letter is from Noriko to Ichiro. So these were two names that Ichiko mentioned at the beginning of her level. She called out, Noriko, Ichiro, where is everyone? These are her two friends. And as we find out, Noriko and Ichiro are a couple. Um, and Noriko's concerned about something. Something's got her worried. Can't talk about it. She can't talk about it to her best friend, Ichiko. She's scared what her boyfriend is going to think. Let's take a look at the next one. Tournament announcement, because we inspected the side of the travel bag. Announcement. The 44th. There's that number again. Middle School Prefectural Tennis Tournament. Our hours of hard work and practice have finally paid off. The Kameshino Middle School Tennis Team will be competing in the Middle School Prefectural Tennis Tournament, natu National Preliminaries, to be held on July 31st. All members of the team are to meet on the school grounds on Tuesday, July 29th, at 7.30 a.m. From there, we will be departing for the tournament. We will be returning home, hopefully with the championship trophy in hand, on Saturday, August 3rd. We've dreamed of winning. Now we'll make that dream come true. Well, from what we've seen, we can, we can tell that Ichiko and her friends were part of the uh, middle school tennis team. And the reason that they were on the bright win is because they were traveling to the, uh, the national preliminaries on July 1st. How did they do? Well, we got that trophy in our archive, which indicates that they did not come in first place. They were the runners-up. Oh, well. Well, second, you know, it's no shame in that. It's just they didn't get first. They did not get first. And from these dates, we can see July 29th, August 3rd. This just... That's, um... That's taking place right now, but in the 80s. So the Bright Wind disappeared in the 80s, and uh, this game takes place on what? August 1st, was it? It's either August 1st or August 2nd. So in 2005, it's around August 2nd or so. And then in the 80s, on around that same day, the ferry disappeared. Nowhere to be seen. And it ended up here on the island. Passengers videotape. So we found this because we inspected the reception area's shelves. A videotape recorded by a passenger on the ferry. 1986, August 1st, Kiichi and Tomoko's memories. We can see that on the, on the cover there. Memory of Kiichi and Tomoko. Heart, 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 heart. Not the Tomoko from the first game. It's a different character. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this video. Nice to see the weather's improved. Hmm, but with this wind, it's still a bit cold. Yeah, you're right. Looks like the ferry stopped. I wonder what's going on. I didn't hear any announcement, did you? A lot of passengers seem excited about something. What? Let's take a look. All right, one, this video camera is terrible. Like something's wrong with your camera at Kichi and Tomoko. Um, and two, that they were on the bright win, and it looks like that uh, the crew pulled up a dead body. There's a dead body on that deck. Couldn't tell much about the dead body, just had long black hair. And now we have Shikai news. We got this because we inspected underneath the TV. 
Shikai News, July 31st, 1975, Evening Edition. Yamajima Island, closed school burns down, arson suspect arrested. On July 31st, Yamajima grade slash middle school building was burned to the ground. Masumi Ushiro, 28, unemployed, no fixed address, was arrested on suspicion of arson by the prefectural police. The suspect arrived on the island on the previous day. After gaining a legal entry to the premises of the abandoned school building, he allegedly set fire to some old curtains, resulting in a blaze that destroyed the building. During questioning, the suspect stated that while sleeping in one of the classrooms, he was assaulted by a dark, crimson creature that he threw his lighter at in the cre- at the creature to ward it off. While the investigation continues, police are considering the possibility of holding the suspect for psychiatric observation. Well, we know the dark crimson creature was a shirio. So we saw a shirio in the school. He threw the lighter, and, well, some curtains caught fire and the whole school burned down. We have not seen the school yet. It is a level in this game, at least the outside of it is. Um, but we have not actually seen it yet. It should be coming up pretty soon, I think. And that's all of the archive items that we have here. And now, next time... When we come back on the Siren 2, we will be doing a second objective with Yoruto and Takayaki at the amusement park and seeing what else they were getting up to. Were they ri- were they getting on any rides? Probably not. Probably not. We'll see you next time.